And here I am, already pissed about the way and how hard it was to get here. I even died while I was doing this. But now I reached my location. Slower. Okay. What is Really? Oh. Okay. Guess I have to look for the trail of Ken. So children are supposed to get safely through this, so there should be no monster whatsoever, otherwise not many children will get through the crook bag things. It's also the first time I'm following the trail. The first time I was here I did not follow the trail. I just stumbled upon them. Okay, so far no monster. So far it's realistic to get here without getting attacked. Huh. Doug went in the kitchen, stole a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer. Shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're light a fire. Gonna roast him up. One, two, three. The one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. What are you doing out here alone? We's not alone. We's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? There's a war. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. Huh. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You looks like a witch yourself. The w w witches of the bog. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. Gran cried an awful lot after that. He could still come back. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, Hide them lasses in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. Okay. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shot. Watch your language. They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. You one of the witches of the swamp? I hear Crookback Bog. Witch? Me? <laughs> Aye. I've no broom nor owl and not one wart on me nose. Got a pretty nose, see? Gwen's got a lovely beak. Oh, you darling girl. Our oh, kids are so sweet. <laughs> Not always, and not the kids in my time. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Gran's good to us. 
Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? My dear, sweet little daughter. And her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please? A young, ashen-haired woman just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! the feeling she doesn't like me very much. Oh, and I can't stand the rain any longer. I will just sleep. You cannot do that now, huh? Why? Go to the hut and talk to the boy. Okay. I think I can. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And, and strangers steal kids. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Yep. Definitely getting the feeling that she doesn't like him. Where is the little girl? Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him, the others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so, and Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. Uh -huh. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. <laughs> the girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Oh, man. Is there something else you need or want? Ooh, I want something sweet. And me too! Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. <laughs> Yum! Never eaten nothing like this before in my life! Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? She's busy. Oh god, this is so creepy. 
Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad, some starved. Others were killed, like mine. One day, I went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells, then laughing. Went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled, and the soldiers laughed. Lay my paw down by the barn door. Is it clean off? And then my mum. It's all right. That's enough. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. Once. When we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause He's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, cause Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. All right, let's get going looking for this Johnny. But before that, let's steal all their shit. Because they obviously won't need it anymore. Oh, that's the fun thing about those games. You can just steal all the shit and nobody gets bothered. Almost. If you do it in front of soldiers. Name calling's not allowed. Okay, can I now? Yes, I can. So I just wanted to be a little bit more nice about it. Shouldn't say that. Apologize. I'll stand here till you apologize to her and... Sorry. Ain't no rats gonna eat your eye. What is this? Hmm. What? Okay. Nothing's for you here. Stay away from the kids. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's look for Johnny. How far away is he? Not far, so I can just walk there. Ah, oh, I don't like this. Oh, god damn it. I don't drown us. Oh, shit. Oh, there's also a water walker hole. This is called. Alright, I got one. Oh, fuck! I didn't want to do that. I wanted to use the Gwen sign to heal myself. Oh, I hit my shit. If Johnny's real, he must leave Prince. Yep. I guess we activate the Sherlock Holmes modus. Mode? Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Okay, let's see. Shouldn't be too far away. Wow, we really have to run quite a bit. Wait. 
Ah. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. How am I luring him out? Johnny? Don't be afraid. You're a bucka? A lutin? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. <laughs> no choice. Right, let's go then. I guess we will have to fight or adjust myself a little bit. Yep. Watch yeah. out! Whoa! This was Alright, I got one. Whoa! Ah, I did the thing! I activated my shield. Ow. Ow, I almost... No, 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 no! Come on! I just have to tear you down. Oh, I'm really bad at this game. I don't really know how to handle a monster. Stay close to me. I can't really block their attacks and dodging is really hard on me. Kind of. I don't know why dodging is so hard when you fight against a monster. They have such long range. This the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Alright, let's climb. I mean, jump this place. Ah, oh, come on! Fuck! What am I getting up there? Oh, maybe just follow. Oh, of course, harpies. Oh, nice! Maybe he meant 
this bottle. All right, let's get down. Ah! Somehow, it's gotta be a fast way to get down. Here. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a clock. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. As am I, especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook, at others like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you, as a prank or just to be mean. How do you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to the village, because word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Blackbird friend of mine located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crones. They don't help no one. I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang, so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's huts, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. What do you know about the crowns? They're as old as this forest. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. But you must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found see them until they want to be seen. But remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. Oof, so I'm not crazy. That's no crone. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamps? Lived here my whole life, and I heartily recommend it. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> this was a good one. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. Alright. This is a really long adventure so far. Oh, that's 
damn it. Oh, and the uh, thing. Alright. Just getting whipped up the drown up. I need to kill and oh! Fuck you! Why are you running away? Like the wind. <laughs> oh, okay. I got the marker now. You say so. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Of course. <laughs> Little Johnny softly gazing, fire waning pale. Pop a spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You, it got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. Hmm. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran. But this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No. She's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Ginny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. All right, here we go. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee, answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? Uh, this is an obvious question. Not how I meant it. You looking? Hmm, should I do this or this? I don't know. Wanted to talk to you. Now be sassy. 
So you're the three crones? Crones? Where'd you get such an ugly word, young man? Village bitches have been gossiping again. There's no limit to how jealous and petty humans can be. Do we look like crones to you? Go ahead, check. Touch me, white-haired one, where it pleases you most. Oh, God. Is it my imagination, or is this tapestry made of hair? Oh, he's got a sensitive touch. Touch me more, boy. Touch me more. Oh, God. Where do you get human hair? Never heard of the cutting. Round here, a young boy turns into a man when they cut his hair for the first time. Our sister weaves tapestries of this cut hair. If the weft is straight, happy's the fate. What if the weft's crooked? Then it must be unraveled. Okay. Is this a curse? You trapped in the tapestry? Oh, he's curious. We don't fall victim to curses. We cast them. <laughs> I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well-fed yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Down Warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen haired maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now, our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one. Return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. This was not creepy at all. And we level up. Great.
Oh! Ah. Let's see what is down there. Well, I actually know already what is down there, but... It's not a pleasant place, I can tell you that. Yeah, it looks really demon-like. Wow, even bones of dead people and all these things you can't just made up in your head. Come on, let me loot you. me all the stuff in here all right so let's get out of here again let's see maybe Johnny is telling us something if we just step outside maybe the kids oh no it's too long nope. got two swords and a wolf friend is next. all right I don't know if I leave the episode here but so long I will see you in the next scene or in the next episode. So stay tuned for it. Alright, let's see what's next up. We are talking to the Elder Man. Greetings. Nice village. Aye, a real pearl of the swamps, if you say so. You get by alright? Aye, winter to winter. Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Aye, Master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Illick. But what happens there now is a wonder. A few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, it was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. I pulled the hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the ladies' help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Alrighty. Others call them the Crones, but you call them the Ladies of the Wood. Those who name them Crones, them's artless fools. The Ladies of the Wood have watched o'er this land for ages. In what way? They drive out evil powers. They say a hundred springs ago, they saved Velen from a plague of werewolves ravaging our flocks. 
Okay. Good health to you. So. Farewell. Okay, let's see. Where do we have to go? Oh man. All right. I see you then when I reach the location. I'm there. Let's see what gives. And it's gotten dark. Okay. Be gone. Come no closer. I know whence you come. If you say so. Hello, Wolfie. Well, you can attack me, but it would be the not good. The that protect me. They sense when they come. As I said, if you say so. Oh, the passport got a new mark. Ah, there. I think we need to. Oh, what's this? Kid. Place of power. Magic. A place of power. I want to have that right now. Hopefully, I can get it. Oh, please don't let me die. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. The power is not relent. even end up here. Never get that. Well. well, because the developers placed it there. <laughs> Why? Ah, oh, this sounds not good. Why have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? I saw women, children even, lying dead on this hill. Did they want to destroy you? To nature, to the forest and earth, all death is alive. Every death is I cry. I will. None of this. Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I kept the balance. The crones killed me. And cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circle in Velen. I wander eternally through a maze of vows, helplessly sliding or rustling. You must know the crowns pretty well. They are felons' curse. They hear all through severed ears. They weave hair and twist lives. They take their strength from a broth of human flesh. Why did they kill you? The crones want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. I was attacked. This is my prison. A fortress besieged. Murderers I await. And my forest protects me. Killed my body. Now my soul they 
hunt, for I defy them. Yeah, I stay true to my first let's play. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here. In fetters of magic. I am wounded and nameless. A labyrinth of thieves. The children. I know all. I know what awaits them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come the a gear. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Why do you think the kids from the meadow are in danger? The sisters took them. They shall not return. Where'd they take them? I can help. It is done already. It cannot be undone. There are no rules to add serving. They shall all die. Let them be saved. I saw women, children even. To oh. nature I cry. The crones, what do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters live concealed. You will not find them. They hear all. I want to see what happens if I say I don't believe him. So... I can't decide just yet. You must come back. Free me. I beg you. Beware my sentries. They stand guard still. Alright, here I am to justify my decision. I am here at the Crockback Bog, or however it's called, and the children are all gone. They're all gone. This house is empty. Not even the old woman is here anymore. This is empty. Even the trapdoor down there was empty. I just don't want to jump down again. And of course, this is empty too. So the kids are really gone. And we don't know where they are. So we have to assume that the spirit is talking the truth or I at least assumed out of it that the spirit is speaking the truth the kids are gone why should they be away if not the crowns wouldn't take them somewhere so yeah and I disliked them anyway and I kinda know where this is going so yeah but just in case you didn't watch my first attempt on this let's play this was my reasoning behind it. Alright, I see you then back at the tree. And here we are back. I'm back. I've been waiting. You've returned. Your decision. I long to be free once more. If you can save the orphans from the meadow, I will find them, free them, open the door of my cage. Blood is my escape, a rite you must perform. With the black of raven feathers, the white of my bones, and the swift steed, a mare wild and free, in meadows pasture court, dark as a bottomless well, black as the depths of night, such a beast, no other. Gather these and bring them here. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind born a steed, a black squall turned horse. 
Why is she suddenly sound like a woman? Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I lived, we shall be a gale. Nothing to stop us. A wild steed from meadows moist. This is a strange thing to phrase it. Where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound. Nearby, due west. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illamic's depths, to the tree's rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood flow to be born again. I must first be consumed. Go now. Through the passage I have opened. Why? Why is he a guy and a girl at the same time? Okay, find the bones beneath the whispering hill. Alright. Oh, it's kinda nearby. Shouldn't be too hard to get there. Whoa! Oh, come on! Ah, oh, sometimes this horse is so stubborn. Just jump! Ah! That's it, Roach. Control of the horse is sometimes really, really dumb. Oh, why? Or well, I am just dumb in general. But that's for another day to debate. Take it easy. Oh, I don't even know why it sounds. Whoa! Die, foul please! I shall seek cover upon you. Yeah, I don't even bother trying. Oh, oh! Oh, I'm almost dead. Oh God! Why am I almost dead? Oh fuck! I can't even see properly! I dodged it! I knew she was coming from behind and I totally dodged it! Die! Oh, come on! Almost bit the dust. Okay, let's see if I can find his remains now. A storm, damn it. Storm is bad because strange bones. Don't seem human to me. Okay, next. Strange bones don't seem like a human? Alright, for this one, I think I just cut it a little bit. <laughs> and I reached my location. So let's see. Axe. Now I need to find a black horse. Oh, they are black horses. Don't run away from me. I'm nice. Most of the time. Got you. Oh! 
But this bothers me. Woman's remains. Why doesn't it look human to you? This is strange. You said it doesn't look like human and this... What? And this obviously says woman's remains. So, I don't get it. Slower. Okay, so I have to ride it all the way. I have to go. Whoa! Oh, this is quite nearby. Really convenient. Uh, I'm afraid I'm doing the wrong thing, but screw it. Actually, I'm gonna kill you. I found human remains. Huh? Saw bodies of women and children in the woods. You've killed people who are no threat to you. The wood killed them. For nature is blind. Death is never more than death. What? Uh. Huh. For raven feathers. Once I was free, I shall be free once more. I offer your remains. Once I was flesh, I shall be flesh once more. See you then when I tell them the good news. Okay, this will be kind of special. In my first playthrough, I didn't told them what I did in there, but this time I'm too curious to find out how they freak out if I tell them the truth. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Didn't have to fight anything or anyone. I simply freed the spirit. Y you did what? Freed the evil so it can prowl the world as it will? did what had to be done. Yeah, and if it returns? Ask the ladies of the wood to help. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon.
Oh yeah. Ah, this is so dumb. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Well, if you say so. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to flee. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence. We must speak to the white-haired one. Oh. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. <laughs> you looked different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? Is it polymorphism? <laughs> I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. What? Hmm, not what I came for. You looked. We're all. Do Can you... I do the other? Th yes. You know why I'm here. You know what I want. You shall dream of us, and return for what you reject. They always come back. I highly doubt that. You used me to tame the Whispering Hillock. A lot of work. Not free, brave soul. Did you destroy the evil powers? Have you brought peace to our domain? I freed the spirit trapped in the tree. 
Hear that, sisters? Traitor! She took the children, brought her! We made a deal. I was supposed to help the villagers. I held up my end of the bargain. They're safe now. So, a mockery you chose to outwit. Ah, oh, sh shit! Did I did I did bad? Whose spirit was trapped in the tree? That of one who once cheated death. You freed an ancient power. It will rise again. Elsewhere, beyond our reach, blood will flow once more. What foolish things men sometimes do. You used me. Did you just... I freed the spirit. Here. Three. We made a deep. So... What did you need the children for? Need? We? They needed us? Our care. You exposed them to great danger. We cannot help them because of you. Leave it, sisters. Everything in its time. This is so strange. What is right? What is wrong? All everything in The Witcher is so vague about what is right and wrong. If you, I think there is no right and wrong decisions decisions in The Witcher Three. Well, there are some, but not many, I guess. So, would you trust s s three witches like this who treat an old lady like that? Uh, if they would be kind-hearted in any way, they would have shown it, and they didn't show it. So, no regrets, more or less. Hopefully. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl. Mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rail. Terrified. Exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous, stubborn, and selfish. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. We knew someone's supposed We let beast in trails. For the omens. We would glimpse her likeness. A mirage in a puddle. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. To our hands. Ah, oh, I didn't even saw those. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. Does 
does she sleep? Like a lamb. Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table's set, the cauldron bubbles. We cannot! You know she is meant for him! Emulith will get her. He will, but not whole. <laughs> well said. We'll just have a sample. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a broth. Oh, I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it! Well, you are not even... Oh, you'll regret that, girl. Regret it dearly. I highly doubt that. Oh, just in time. Yeah, I kind of escaped from the cross bag. Oh, I escaped. I shall escape. The last time I fought here for five to ten minutes and was wondering why it didn't end. Now I know better. What? What happened? You tried to kill her. You tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood. The taste brought back memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. I won't let you get away with it or I find her and come back for you. Won't let you get away with her? Oh. It's basically the same thing. I don't want to waste my time now with them. No, I won't let you get away with it is a better answer. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if... <laughs> the girl will die for seeing you, handsome knight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's like rain. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And the next time we will finish, I guess we finish the quest, Family Matters. So, stay tuned.